Hey, Russell. I'm busy. I got a question about these condoms. I told you, Charlie, I'm giving you the best bulk rate I can. <laughs> I know, but that's not what no, I was... There's just no way I can compete with the big chain stores. I understand. So I make it up in personal service. I'm sure you do. I mean, I'm not going to unroll the damn things and put them on for you, but short of that, I've got your back. <laughs> and I appreciate it, but that's not what I was asking about. Charlie, times are tough. People don't get their drugs from their friendly neighborhood pharmacists anymore. They go on the internet. I know. I sure trust your mailman with your heart medicine and stool softeners. Russell, have you been hitting the free samples again? What are you, a cop? <laughs> no, I'm just a little concerned about you. Well, if you're so concerned, help me out a little bit. Why don't you buy some reading glasses or a neck brace once in a while? Sure. A bag of Skittles, for God's sake. <laughs> You know, because my margin on condoms is bupkis. Yeah, well, speaking of condoms, I just want to know if somebody could get pregnant even if you were wearing a condom. Have you been talking to the Wetzel's pretzels lady? Because I just gave her a ride home. That's it. No, no, no. no. I mean, in general, what are the odds that a condom wouldn't work? Well, there are a number of things to factor in. <laughs> oh, cough syrup? I don't have a cough. Neither do I. <laughs> anyway, condoms. Uh, whenever you're dealing with a manufactured product, there's always going to be flaws in the process. Yeah, but aren't they supposed to be tested before they go out or in? <laughs> well, sure, but they don't test every one. They don't? Masturbating's looking better and better, huh? <laughs> okay. Okay, so bottom line, what you're saying is, even if I'm wearing a condom, there's a chance I could get someone pregnant? Did you miss eighth grade health class, Charlie? Oh, come on, who went to health class? Well, amongst others, a certain self-medicating pharmacist who pays alimony to three different women, but not one penny in child support. <laughs> all right, all right, for future reference, what about lambskin, are they more effective? Well, um, less so than your latex product. Now, I had to stop wearing them myself because something about the smell made my cat go berserk. <laughs> it's kind of a cute story. She was... I don't, I don't want to hear it. Not a cat person, huh? I'm not either anymore. All right, well, thanks, Russell. I'll well, see you. Uh, well, uh, that's it? You're not gonna buy anything? I mean, we got some wiffle ball bats. Maybe your little bastard would like a wiffle ball bat. <laughs> Childproof cat. <laughs>